Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, we are just knocking through these short stories and I got three more to talk to you about today. Uh, the first one comes from the Star Wars Adventure Journal number 17 written by Gene Rabe and it's called Shifting Gears. Now in this it's about uh, a pilot called Amok who buys a droid on Tatooine and the droid isn't what they appear to be. Uh, it seems like a lot of West End game stories had to have a little twist at the end. Not all of them, but some of them did. This one did. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed the storyline. And one thing, and I've mentioned this before, but in a lot of West End games um, short stories, they would give you adventures going forward. And the adventures going forward on this one are different than the <laughs> ones you would usually see based off the twist ending, which I thought was really, really good. Uh, I, I think this is well worth your time. And again, if you he heard my last video, Star Wars Adventure Journal 17 never existed. That's why that covers in black and white. That's the best image I could find. That was from Joe Bongiorno's site, StarWarsTimeline.net, which is also where you can get this story. This is another unpublished story that was set up for Star Wars Adventure Journal number 17. And of course, when Westin Games lost the rights, it didn't go to print. Now again, you can decide whether you want to accept it as canon or not. I know a lot of people, we talk about head canon, right? Oh, I don't consider that canon. I don't, well, to be honest, if it came under, out from under that old canon banner, then it is part of the canon. This is the one where you have the right to question it because it technically never came out. It was ordered, it was approved, it just was unpublished. Is that type of stuff canon? I would argue that it is. However, if someone wanted to argue that it wasn't, you would have a good stance too. Uh, so take that for what it's worth, but to be honest, Shifting Gears is actually a pretty good story. The next story I want to talk about is from Paul Danner. It was also supposed to debut in Star Wars Adventure Journal 17, and it's called Just Business. Now this is basically all, uh, talking about businessman Yen Linta, I think his name was. Uh, Venta Linta, anyway. It's his dealings with the Empire. Now uh, this is one that you won't find on Joe's site, because I think Paul Danner has his own site. I don't know. It was it was on Star Wars, and it's still there. I looked it up not uh, not too long ago. Star Wars Fanboy Association. I think I think he just put out the, his unpublished stories on his own site a long time ago. Said, "Hey guys, here's what you know. I had you know ordered that was ordered from Westing Games. I finished it. It never got published, but here it is. He released his stuff years ago. I mean, I've known about uh, just business for a long time. That was an easy one to find." and me personally immediately included it. And the reason for that is if it was ordered, completed, and was supposed to come out but got canceled due to outside control, which in this case was just Wesson Games falling apart, the last short story I want to talk about is written by George Strayton. Now this was in the Star Wars Gamer number 12, which means it actually got published. It actually came out. <laughs> and it's called Priority X. Now in this one, uh, corporate sector authority agent Theola receives a message, a Priority X message. It's a mission that she's supposed to track down a rebel unit. Now, what for is revealed later on. Uh, this is actually a really good story. George Strayton is another guy who, whenever he wrote something, I usually tended to enjoy it. I don't think he's made anything I didn't enjoy, but I like a lot of his short stories, and this is a good one, too. Uh, all three of these, of course, are I think are worth your time. However, the first two were unpublished stories I just thought I should mention, so it's up to you whether you want to read them or not. But the Star Wars Gamer 12 Priority Acts is actually pretty pretty interesting. I did enjoy it. All right, folks, that is all the time I have for now. See you next time with another video.